Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer for Apotsky Outdoors. We're here in North Carolina on the Cherokee Indian Reservation, going after some of the best fishing here in the entire Eastern United States. They got an incredible stocking program. They're very excited to have you here to go fishing. We're gonna show you how to come here and bring your family to catch trout here in beautiful Cherokee, North Carolina. Go on, first gas. Oh, boy. Got the net on there. Ah. There we go. Look at that thing. Oh, God. You see that fish come at you? Yep. Got it. Oh, man. Nice fish. Look at that. Second gas. Oh, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. You guys got the net down there? Look at that, second cast, second fish. Orange Deluxe. All right, let me show you what I'm gonna be using today here in Cherokee. Uh, we're gonna go back to the tried and true Potsky Balls of Fire Salmon Egg. So what I'm gonna be using today is two different set, two different eggs. First one I'm gonna use is the Premiums, which have been around, one of our staples, and it's been an awesome, awesome egg for a long time. The other one I'm gonna end up using today is gonna be the Orange Deluxe. This is another egg. We changed the way it looks a little bit here recently. So this has been a fish catching machine all over the Eastern United States. So we're gonna try this one today. So I'll have it set up on a single salmon egg hook, light line, small float, and just BBs on it to get it down to the location I need. We start running into faster water. I'm gonna go into a slip bobber setup with a bobber stop. All right, I'll show you the setup with the actual foam float that we're using, really light line, four pound, four carbon, and the way it's set up. So here's your float, nice little slip float. And what I mean by slip float, it actually slides back and forth. It has a slit in the side, so you can actually move it out, adjust it to the depth you need, slide that back in, locks it in place, but this is a locked float, so you gotta get the depth that you want. So right there, I've got that set up over to a main line, to some BBs, and the BBs right there, I've got four BBs tied in to get the actual bait down in the water column where I need it. On that, I've got about an eight inch uh, leader on it, to a size 10 single salmon egg hook. So I'll be using this small presentation, single egg, getting to the depth that I need to catch these fish. All right, here we go with the Orange Deluxe single salmon egg hook. Very simple setup, right through there. Cover the egg, leave the tip of it sticking out so you get a good hook set, and that's what we'll be floating down the river. Oh God, he crushed it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my God! He crushed the bobber! the batter three times. Oh, nice fish. Guys, you just seen that bobber down, run some uh, premium through that hole. You got to see him hit, come up and hit the bobber and everything. Here he is. Oh my God. Fluff Division. Dude, I don't know what, whose pole this is. <laughs> but if this fish comes off, I'm gonna float across this creek. Some ugly guy just come down here and is like, use my pole, I want you to try it out. Oh, here he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah! That is a nice fish. Guys, look at the average size fish down here in Cherokee. Great fish to eat, great fish to catch. Bring your family and your friends down here and let's have a lot of fun. My other tip of the day is, of course, peach garlic fire bait. Here's how what I want you to do.
see how bright and shiny that is? They can see it from a long distance. So you don't really have to cast it directly on top of them. And they can smell it too. This stuff smells very bad. I had a jar of it open one time. Dracula flew over, flew over my house and crashed into the trees across the creek. I was like, what in the world? But anyway, that right there is the simplest and one of the most effective techniques you can use with fire bait. But I'm gonna show you my favorite way to do it. Take it, put it in your hands. Minnow, now you've got a live bait. Hey, I just wanted to let y'all know that when you come to Cherokee, you don't have to have an expensive rod. Uh, what I got here is a, just a $25 rod from my cousin's bait store. It's an Eagle Claw. They've done me well over the years, so I'm not really gonna turn from them. Um, you need to have at least, you know, two, four, six pound test line, because it's very clear water here. They can see your line very easily, so I just suggest you use small diameter. I use Strin Low Vision Green, and uh, very effective for me down here and everywhere else I go, so why switch? Got him. Oh, dude, it's a nice fish. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a real good one. If he runs down, I can... Oh, you got him? Yeah, okay. Up. You can handle it, Joe? I think we can handle this one. Rainbow. Oh, yeah. Where you going? Today, I, you know, I like to fish with a lot of spinners and different kinds of bait. So today I want to show you something, a little trick that uh, with Potsky's new fire gel that really works well. You know, I'm a smoker. You got smoke on my hands, nicotine on my hands, and this kind of covers that up, but boy, does it bring the fish. So this is our new fire gel. It's shrimp flavored. Take a little bit out. Hold that like that. A little bit on your fingers, all you need. A little bit on the feathers and we're ready to go, right here. Oh, yeah, baby. Pat, you're a genius. I don't care what your brother says. I know. Your, your brother might not be. It might not be that big, but you know what? I caught one right now. I want to revoke this permit. <laughs> <laughs> we got George on the net. Here in Cherokee. Put a little bit of that fire gel on spinner. Right here's what it does for you. Beautiful rainbow. Don't get much better than that. You know, I was telling you earlier, and I showed you how I put fire gel on a uh, spinner. Right here is your proof. A lot of you out there have problems with bait fishing because it can be messy, it can be stinky. Couldn't be hard to get on the hook sometimes. It depends on the situation you're in. So right here is a great alternative for anybody who don't like to use bait and get their hands nasty. I, got, I took a pot, brand new Potsky Fire Egg and a half of a fire worm, same color, pink. I'm gonna feed this on there first. Put it all the way to the end of the hook. And this is what I've been doing. Been barely hooking it in the side, just like so. And I push it all the way up. Thread, just snake it on there. Snake the worm on there, right behind it. There you go. I've been killing them today on this. Oh, he's chasing it. That fish just turned his head. Got him! Oh, got him! Yeah. Nice. Did you see him turn his head? He came back and chased that down. That's what we want. Right in. Look at that. Look what's in his mouth, Club. Your new invention? My new invention. Easy, buddy. Let us get it on film real quick. You know, everybody uses night crawlers for trout, bass, panfish, whatever. Well, I'm going to show you a way to enhance the night crawler. a small pinch. Now this right here 
you know everybody knows that trout love pink and trout love gold not only that they're shrimp and garlic flavored so you've got a this is super super sanded when it comes to the water what i want you to do is take one slide it all the way up to the end take number two do the same thing all the way up to the end okay there we go thank goodness that you're cooperating with me today now this, I want you to thread on here like it's floating through naturally, just like so. And that's how I want it to go through the water, and that's how I want you to put it through the water. Good job, Clark. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.